Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll be doing a short video on the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.3.0. They made a significant change to the Sharpen module, and I want to go over that today with you. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, another update for Topaz Photo AI. You know, they basically do one a week, and I don't know how much longer they'll keep this up, but I think they'll stick with it until they get this product just the way they like it, and it's really improving. And let me know in the comments section below what you think of Topaz Photo AI. Are you happy with the way things are going with it? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments section below. Before I get started here, I just want you to know that Topaz Photo AI is on sale right now. You can save $40 off until April 21st, 2023. So you end up getting it for $159. Hey, and if you'll click on my affiliate link in the description below this video, it'll take you to the sale. When you use that affiliate link, I make a small commission and that helps me to keep tutorials coming your way. And when you use my affiliate links for any purchases, I truly appreciate it and I thank you. What's new in version 1.3.0, this new update? Well, you can see on the screen now, the splash screen that comes up when you open up Topaz Photo AI, just letting you know there's a new update. As always, we have bug fixes. The thing that I really want to show you today is they've updated the motion and lens blur models to new generalized strong sharpen model with less artifacts and greater slider sensitivity. So that's the main thing that has happened with this update. I opened up this image in Topaz Photo AI. Now this is around ISO 1600, so it does have some noise in it. I went ahead and zoomed into 200%, and to do that, you just come down to the bottom right hand side of the interface and just click on this triangle and you can change the zoom levels, you know, from fit the whole way up to 800%. So you can really get in there and examine your image. But here I am at 200%. Now, as you can see, there's some noise in here and the image is slightly soft. This is before any noise reduction or sharpening. Photo AI gives you a lot of ways of seeing a before and after. Right now, I just click this eye right here. So if I click it again, you'll see the results. If I click it one more time, when it turns blue, then you see the before. Or you could click this button right here. And then you have this bar you can drag across and see the before and after. So the before is on the left, the after is on the right. So that's a nice way. Or you could click on this button and then you will see the before on the left and the after on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the full view right now by clicking this button. Here's a little tip for you. If you left click and hold down with your mouse, you'll see the before, and when you release that left click, you'll see the after. That's the way I like to do it. It's quick and easy. Let's look at this information from Topaz. This week, we are happy to release the new Strong Sharpen model. This model combines the motion and lens blur models into a new generalized model, which should have less artifacts and greater slider sensitivity. We've also made several tweaks to how Autopilot determines values for enhancements and which enhancements it turns on, which should help with overall automated image quality. So far, this update seems really good, but let me know in the comments section below if you tried this yet and what you think of this new update. What kind of results are you getting? Let's take a look at the differences in the Sharpen module between version 1.2.10 and version 1.3.0. In 1.2.10, as you notice, we have standard lens blur and motion blur, and in version 1.3, we have standard and strong. Strong now combines both lens blur and motion blur, so now we don't have three different choices. We only have two, and I think Topaz just want to make this more simplified, and it's all about that autopilot and really speeding up the workflow. Now, notice in this scenario, I'm in the standard model and you have strength and clarity sliders but that is different in the strong model let me show you now you're seeing the strong model and you'll notice with the strong model you only have a strength slider you do not have a clarity slider so it's just that one slider but it should be a lot more sensitive now let's go ahead and check out the strong model now i have this very soft image of a butterfly here's the before i'm just left clicking and holding down with my mouse 
Here's the before. You can see it is super soft, and here is the after. Now I can see here that Photo AI was not really aggressive with the sharpening that it has chosen for this. I think it needs a lot more sharpening. So let's check out this strength slider. And as they say, it's more sensitive. I'm going to start to drag it to the right. I'm going to drag it a good bit here, maybe over to around here and let it go ahead and update itself. It's almost done. And there it is. Here's the before. Again, I'm left clicking with my mouse and holding. Here's the before and here's the after. Look at the flower and look at the butterfly. And now I'm even going to go, let's go the whole way up and see what it does. Give it a second here to sharpen. And yeah, look at that. That's a really fantastic result in my opinion. And I hope you can see that on the video. Again, here's the before and now the after. I must say I'm really impressed with this sharpening. I think it's done a really good job, even though I am using 100%, no problem there. And the sharpening looks really good. This image was super soft and now it looks really nice. I think Photo AI has done a fantastic job. Now we don't know if it used lens blur or motion blur, but what do we care as long as the job looks good when it's all said and done. Well, there you go, everyone. Topaz Photo AI version 1.3.0. If you don't have the new update yet and you own Topaz Photo AI, go ahead and get that update. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And that way, every time I upload a new tutorial, you will get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!